What's going on guys? Criminal Justice here. Today we are back with another LSP for tutorial. Today guys, I'm going to give a big, big shout out to Mr. Paul G, who is a big part of the community and a member here on the Criminal Justice channel, who sent me this mod through uh, Facebook, I think it was text message and then Facebook Messenger, and he also sent it to me on Discord. Uh, so big shout out to Paul G for this mod. Guys, the mod we're going to be installing today is called, it is called a Telescopic Baton. Now let's go ahead and click the link in the description below guys and I can explain more about what it does and what it is. So the telescopic baton is made uh, by W4 Slash. So big shout out to you man for this baton. It's actually really cool guys. If you look at the screenshots, it does put a weapon icon for the specific baton into your weapon wheel. And if you go over, as you can see guys, it does exactly what you think it does. It flips out like a real baton, like a realistic baton, okay? Now, I've already installed this, guys, and I've tried it out. It works great. So here's what we're going to do, guys and girls. It's very important that you all read this right here. Spawn names, okay? We When we go into the game, you're going to have to have Simple Trainer, okay? And whatever requirements you do not have for this video, I will link in the top right corner of this video showing you how to install any requirements that you may not have that you may need to make this mod work. So pay attention to the right hand top of the corner, guys. The right hand top corner of the screen is what I meant to say. Very important right here, guys. Spawn names. We're going to be using this, okay? So keep that in mind right here, all right? Now, with that said, go ahead and click download right here and put it somewhere where you know how to get to it. Let's close out of that. We are going to need our Grand Theft Auto 5 main directory, and we are also going to need Open IV with a mods folder and all of our patch days. If you do not have Open IV with all your patch days, again, Look in the top right corner of the screen, all right? And I will drop a link there right now. And it will take you to my video showing you how to install OpenIV, how to get your mods folder, and how to install all your patch days, which you're going to need to make this mod work, okay? With that said, let's open up our GT5 main directories, all right? And minimize that. And also open up your OpenIV and click on Windows for Grand Theft Auto 5. Now you don't really need your main directory for this. It's just a habit I have when I do these mods. I open up my main directory and open IV. Now, first and foremost, when you come to open IV, make sure that your edit mode is turned on, guys. Make sure that that is turned on. It's very important that you do. If it's not, your mods will not install, okay? If you want your edit mode to be an edit mode at all times, if you want your open IV to be an edit mode at all times, go over here to tools, go to tools, <laughs> go to options, go to general, and if your default work mode looks like this right here, and it looks like that, it says read only. This is what you want to do: change that default work the the default work mode from read only to edit, and then click close. And now from here on out, every time you open up your Open IV, you are automatically going to be in edit mode. Okay. With that said, let's minimize our Open IV and open up our WinRAR guys for our baton. And we're actually going to be installing everything in this folder, okay? But we're going to do it one step at a time. So first, we want to click on the single player. And then right here, guys, this W underscore cold baton, okay? What you want to do, thank you, uh, Loki, subscribing. Thank you, Loki, for subscribing. Sorry, guys, my alert box for my Halloween streams. Um, this is what I want to do, guys. So in our, actually, go ahead and open up your main directory, guys. Go ahead and open it up. In your main directory, you want to go to mods update time 64 and dlc packs okay now in here we want to open up underneath all the optionals and the single player open up the how to install text okay open that up and make it real big there is a line right here that you want to copy from the greater than to the less than sign just like you see it right there ladies and gentlemen just the way you see it there okay once you've got that highlighted go ahead and right click and copy that okay and then just close out of this readme all right now the next thing you want to do in your dlc packs in your main directory right now you should be in steam apps common grand theft auto 5 mods update time 64 dlc packs that's where you should be at in your directory. your pathway is your lifeline guys and modding okay now inside our winrar we want to open up that single player folder okay all right don't do that just open up the single player fo folder just like this. And you want to grab this W underscore cold baton right here. Pull it into your DLC packs and drop it in, okay? I've already got it, as you can see. I'm going to go ahead and replace it. It won't ask you to do that. Once you've got it, go ahead and refresh. Go back to your main directory. And you can now close your open. I, I mean, you close your main directory, okay? 
Open up your open IV, guys. There's a pathway we're going to have to go to. Remember that line we just copied. Keep that in mind. Over in your open IV, guys, make sure you're in edit mode. Go to mods. Go to update. Update our PF. Common and data. And if we scroll down in here, you are going to see a DLC list.xml. Okay. That is the file that we are going to be working with. Okay. So make sure that is the, 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 Make sure that's the one that you have, okay? <laughs> so once you get that DLC list of XML, guys, go ahead and highlight it, right click, and click edit, okay? Now in here, you want to scroll all the way down to the last item line. Whatever your last item line is, guys, click on the end of it and make sure your cursor's on the end of it just like that. Once you got it, click enter one time and hit left control V. V is in Victor, left control V. And it will paste that line that we just copied, okay? Now, as you guys can see, I've already got it here. But what I want you guys to do is I want you guys to click save. I'm going to click cancel because I've already got it. I'm going to click cancel. You guys click save, okay? That way it saves it. And then when you open up that DLC list, if you double click on it, you will see your baton line right there, all right? So close out of this. And let's go back into our open IV and go to file and click close all archives okay now the next thing we want to do is in our window go back and go to optionals okay and then we want to grab this right here the one that says optional custom hud icon.oiv grab it pull it to your desktop and drop it just like that okay once you do that go over to your open iv make sure you click file and close all archives guys okay make sure you do that for this next step you want to go right here to these three little dots. This is open package installer. Click on that. And then click on desktop. And you want to find that custom HUD icon.oiv. Double click it. All right. Click install. Mods folder. Always select your mods folder. And confirm installation. Okay. We're going to go ahead and install this. And there's one more thing we have to do, guys, before we are done with this tutorial. Okay. Uh, plus, I'm going to take you guys to the game and show you how it works as well. Go ahead and click close. And next up in here, we are going to go to the manual installation right here, okay? Open that up, and we're going to install these two files. Now, this is how I installed it, and it worked. So this is how I'm going to show you guys how to install it, okay? Um, if I'm doing anything incorrectly, I apologize, but this is how it worked for me. Also, guys, the OIV file on your desktop that we just installed, you can drop that in your recycle bin like that, okay? So now... We want to find the file. Uh, we want to find the pathway these two go into. So go to how to install text. And in here, you are going to see a pathway, which is going to be this one right here. Okay. So we want to go to, and let me move this over so we can see it. In your open IV, guys, you want to go to mods. You want to go to update. Update.rpf. Then you want to go to time 64. Okay. Then you want to go to data and CD images, and then that last part of that pathway over there is going to be scaleform underscore generic dot RPF. Now, if you want to go like this and highlight, this is the easiest way to find it. Copy, highlight it, copy it. Go up here in your search tab, your open IV, and hit left control V. It'll pop the only one up th that you got there, okay, with the one that you need. All right, so double click that. Once you do, you're probably going to get this right here, which says no items match your search. Don't worry about it. Go back up to your search tab in your open IV and erase what we just pasted in there. Just like that, okay? Now, let's go ahead and close that win, uh, the, the readme right there. And we want to look for this HUD.GFX and the HUD.YTD. Go to the search tab again on your open IV and type in HUD. Just like that. Right here, guys, is your HUD.GFX and your HUD.YTD. You want to grab both of these files from your WinRAR, the HUD.GFX and the HUD.YTD. Grab those only. Pull them into your open IV just like this and drop them, okay? Now, I believe that is it. That is it, guys. We are done. Go back to your open IV, ladies and gentlemen. Clear that search tab right there. And then go to file and click close all archives. Close out of your open IV. Get rid of that shortcut on your desktop. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, always make sure you clean out your recycle bin as it's very important to do that. With that being said, I'm going to take you guys in the game and show you exactly how this mod works. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so once we are sp uh, loaded into the game, you're almost at spawn. This is what you want to do. Now, you are going to have to have Simple Trainer to spawn this weapon.
Um, if you do not have Simple Trainer, I will link a video here showing you how to install Simple Trainer. It'll be popping up in the top right corner. Uh, there's a lot of people that don't pay attention to those links, guys. Anytime I do a tutorial, I will always leave the required mods that you need or the scripts or plugins that you might need to make the mod that we're currently installing to make it work properly. They will always be linked in the top right corner. All you got to do is look, pay attention, and above all else, stop skipping my videos and you'll see those links, okay? So, here's what you want to do. Once we get the baton, uh, if you want to get the baton loaded up, you're going to go into your simple trainer, and if you watch that video, you should know how to open it up. So we're going to go there. We're going to go down to weapons, and you want to go over to uh, right there, guys, where it says spawn weapon by model name. That's where you want to go. Once you're on that, guys, go ahead and go into that. And then right here, you are going to type in W-E-A-P-O-N underscore C-O-L. And if that pops up, guys, hit the L again. It'll go away and hit the delete key. Do not hit backspace. If you hit backspace, you're going to exit the trainer. So hit delete and then type in B-A-T-O-N. And if your guy's doing that after you hit the B button, just hit the B button again and hit delete to take it off. You want weapon underscore C-O-L baton. Just like that. Once you've got it, hit enter. It will then say at the bottom, weapon spawned. Okay? Right there, it'll say weapon baton spawn. All right, as you can see, it's in my hand right here. Now, the cool thing about this baton uh, is the fact that it has a cool little animation, just like that. So when you pull it out, it's got the animation. When you put it away, it's got the animation. If you look in your weapon wheel, you will see that it's right there. Now, t now in my opinion, there is a downside to this baton. Um, I cannot, if I want to go to my symbol trainer and save this, say like under my... Uh, let's say uh, slot one, right? If I want to save it there, it's not going to save because once I go to load it back up, it will disappear, all right? But I'm going to show you guys that this baton works good. Uh, let's get somebody, um, let's get somebody at least pulled over here real quick. Let's get it pulled over. Let's go ahead and turn these lights on and let's get a car pulled over here real quick. Let's see. Right here, this will work. Just somebody, anyway. There we go. We'll get him pulled over. I'm just going to get him out and whack him real good. And I'm going to show you guys this baton works. Alright, so once he pulls over... We're going to pull out. We're going to get out of the car. And go to your weapon wheel. Pull that out. He's going to whip it out just like that. I'm going to get this dude out of the car. Go ahead and get out, man. All right, I'm going to show you guys this weapon does work. See that? It works. And it's got kind of a, if you listen, it's got a metal sound when you hit your the suspects. So, pretty cool mod, guys. Nonetheless, a cool mod. Uh, and again, another big shout out to Paul G who told me about this. I think it's an awesome mod. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, subscribe if you're new. Smash that like button for me. Click that bell and click all so you never miss any future content or live streams. Until next time, guys and girls, God bless, take care, stay in prayer, love one another, and peace out. I will see you all in the next video.